Trade dispute between the U.S. and its allies is intensifying, and tariffs from the EU could make all kinds of American goods more expensive in Europe. You could see a higher price on a bottle of bourbon, a new pair of blue jeans, or even a Harley Davidson motorcycle. And in the U.S., manufacturers of goods that use aluminium and steel, like cars, will have to pay more to import, a cost that's likely to get passed on to consumers. Meanwhile, the steel and aluminium industry on both sides of the Atlantic faces uncertain times ahead, risking fluctuations in the market and possible job losses. All of this is because of tariffs. But hang on one second, what exactly are tariffs? Put simply, they're a tax on anything imported from abroad. Governments use them to protect and boost local industries, and the thought is that they encourage consumers to buy local instead of importing, and that they hope will protect jobs and the economy in the country that implements them. But here's the catch. Many economists doubt their effectiveness, and tariffs often come with political risk. We will never, ever sign bad trade deals. America first! And what I object to very strongly is the illegal and unjustified imposition of tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum. Well, the U.S. President has voiced concern over the U.S.'s trade agreements in the past. He's concerned that the U.S. is importing more than it's exporting, leading to a U.S. trade deficit. The American